Greetings everyone. In today's video, we will quickly learn how you can embed an Instagram feed into your WordPress website. Basically something like this. Let's get started. For more WordPress content, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Now for this tutorial, we want to add this Instagram feed to our WordPress website. This is a dummy Instagram account. Anyway, we will add this feed to our website. In order to do that, let's log in to the WordPress dashboard, wp-admin, and enter the credentials. Now to embed the Instagram feed to our website, we need a plugin. For that, go to plugins and add new and search for Smashable in Instagram. This is the plugin with more than a million installations and five star ratings. Install the plugin and activate the plugin. So the plugin has been activated. You can either go to the plugin settings from here or from the sidebar. Click on settings. By the way, this plugin also has the Pro version too, but we will use its free features. Now, the first thing we need to do is manage sources. Basically, we need to connect our Instagram account. Click on Add Source. Choose the account type, a personal account. You can log in with Instagram. For business, you will have to log in with Facebook and you will also need to have a business page. Anyway, let me go with personal. Click on login with Instagram. I am already logged in with Instagram or else you will be asked to sign into your Instagram. Anyway, click on allow. Yes, it is my domain. So we have successfully connected our Instagram account here. After connecting to the Instagram account, click on Feeds. Here you can see when the images will be pulled from your Instagram. The default is 12 hours, but you can choose accordingly. But please choose it as per your server capabilities. We will go with the default, 12 hours. Click on Save Changes. On the Advanced tab, you can actually leave these to defaults. Now click on All Feeds. We will have to add a feed. Click on Add New. We will use our own timeline. Click on Next. This is the account we added earlier. Tick this and click on Next. I will close this. Now let's work on the layout. On the feet layout, only the grid version is free. Rest is available on Pro. You can adjust the feet height here. You can change the padding if you want. If you change to 20, the gaps will be big. We'll choose 5. On the number of posts on the desktop, the total number of images shown will be 20. I normally like to have 10 and the same on the mobile. But again, you can choose accordingly on mobile and desktop. Here is the number of columns, currently it is four. You can customize it as required. So it is all done. On the color scheme, you can choose light, dark, or customize it as you want on header. This is the header. You can change the size. You can write the bio. It will look like this. And you can hide the header too. It's hidden. On posts, you can leave it to default. Load more button. This is the button. You can change the text and as well customize the colors. Likewise, for the follow button, this is the text and you can customize the color. 
and Lightbox is a pro feature. If you click on images, it would open in the same window. For the free version, it will take you to the Instagram page. This is all done. Go to Settings. Click on Sources. So the source is our Instagram account. Filters and Moderations. You can leave this to default. Other are Pro features. On Sort, you can choose to display new images or random. By Likes is a Pro feature. And this is a shoppable feed. In advance, you can leave it to default. So all done. And this is the preview on the desktop, on tablet, and on mobile phones. Anyway, after all these save changes, now click on embed. Now we need to add this short code to wherever we want to display the Instagram feed. Copy this. And let me create a new page. I will call this page Instagram. And on text, not visual, or wherever your theme allows for short codes, paste it there. Let me publish the page. Let me check the page. So you can see the Instagram feed is here. If I click on the image, it will take me to the Instagram page. Load more will show more images, but I only have 11 images. New uploads will be automatically updated here every 12 hours. And you can add the short code to any page or post. Also note, you might have to play with CSS as per your theme. So this is how you can add an Instagram feed to your WordPress website. Thank you very much.